It's a new day, and I just want to welcome you to this session. My name is Ibrahim Mustafa, and uh, in today's session, we are going to talk about how you can present like a boss. Public speaking is key in whatever endeavor that you are in. So there are steps that you need to take based on the position that you are. You need to present like people, average CEOs, like bosses. So today we want to talk about how you can present like a boss. How can you walk on stage with that confidence, with that elegance, to have that bossy feelings? And that's what we are going to talk about today. So if you are in the room and you want to present like a boss, today I'm on live on Instagram, I'm live on TikTok, I'm live on Facebook, and I'm live on YouTube. So let's go to number one. What do you do? The first tip for you is to speak with confidence. Confidence is key, and you need to speak with elegance. You need to speak with confidence. You need to like, let people know that, yes, you are in charge. You need to let people know that you are the boss. So when you are speaking, you don't need to speak like you don't matter. You don't need to speak like people don't uh, uh, care. You just need to speak with confidence. Speaking like a boss, you need to speak with confidence. The way you even walk uh, should exude confidence. Let people know that you are in charge. And that is one of the things that you can do to speak and uh, to speak, to present like a boss. You need to take charge of the situation. You need to let people know that you are bigger. You need to let people know that, yes, you are indeed in charge. Number two is you need to tell stories. Storytelling is key in public speaking. And then the more you tell good stories, the more you capture your audience. The more you tell good stories, the more you create opportunities for your audience. So storytelling is key. And you can learn to tell stories always. Public speaking, you need to tell good stories, moral stories, stories that inspire, stories that impact. So as a boss or as a CEO, your stories can move your audience to the next level, to let them achieve whatever you want them to achieve. So, and that's what, why you need to tell stories. So I have two strategies to tell good stories. This, these are personal stories, your personal story. Stories that in, you can use to inspire your audience as a boss. Stories that you can use to what? Let your audience feel carried along. So your stories, i.e. stories about your failures, stories about your experiences, stories about things you've gone through in life, stories about all the opportunities that you have. These are stories that can help your audience. Your personal stories the stories that you talk about, the stories that you eschew, the stories that you carry on. So your personal stories can make an impact. And then number two second is stories of other people. It could be a story of a product, maybe a phone, a story of uh, a brand, story of things that you sell like a boss. So these are all stories that you can tell. You can even tell other people's stories. Maybe I can pick my Zuckerberg story and share to my audience about how he started Facebook. I can pick a Jeff Bezos story. I can pick the story of Elon Musk. I can pick anybody's story that I want. Maybe if you're in Ghana, I can pick the story of Kwame Despite. I can pick stories about people who inspire me. So public speaking is all about storytelling. But there are some mantras that you need to appreciate when you're telling stories. Number one is that don't tell an incomplete story. This has happened to me several, where I start telling a story, and uh, the story is not ended, and I stop because something comes up. So at the end, you are leaving your audience like uh, in a blank because they don't know where the story was going to, and they don't know how. Like, so one is that you need to tell good stories, and you need to complete those stories. Let me also let you appreciate that when you are telling stories, sometimes you need to have a moral to the story. What do you want your audience to get at the end of the story? Just that you just don't just tell stories because you're telling them. You, have, you need to have a moral to those stories. So moral simply means that you need to let what is the benefit of the story to your audience. So as a boss, you need to tell good stories and you need to let your audience know that uh, these are stories that can help your people make an impact. So I'm here live on Instagram. I'm here live on Facebook. I'm live on TikTok. So if you are watching on TikTok, if you are watching on any part of the world, this is it. This is Ibrahim Mustafa. And we're talking about 
how to present like a boss. So maybe you are a public speaker, uh, you are a CEO or founder of an organization. You need to speak like that so people will get to know what you do. And we're talking about the two. First, we talk about speaking with confidence. Number two is telling stories. Storytelling is key. Storytelling can help you make an impact. Storytelling can help you create opportunities. Storytelling can have a long-lasting impact in your organization, in the organ uh, like in your employees and the people that you control because you need to speak and present like a boss. The third one is you need to make eye contact. Eye contact is key if you are speaking in public. So whether you're speaking to the camera, you're speaking on the, to live audience, you're speaking to your employees, you need to establish that rapport of eye contact. You can see that I'm navigating between my phone, I'm neg navigating between my webcam and all those things, gadgets that I'm using to record this because I need to keep the eye contact in check. So as a boss, as a CEO, you need to establish that rapport of making eye contact, direct eye contact. So eye contact is key if you want to what? make that connection. So you need to make eye contact, look at people eyeball to eyeball, create opportunities for them to be able to what? listen to you. When you're speaking to some people and you're not making the right eye contact, you may not connect with them. It's just like making a phone call. You are making a phone call, but the line is not connecting. You're not connecting to the other person. Never, you are never going to communicate to them. And that is the same way of public speaking. You need to make direct uh, eye contact. And there are techniques, there are skills, there are strategies that you can use to make eye contact. When I'm speaking to uh, a group of thousand people, I, seg get, I segment the hall or the auditorium into three parts. The middle, the left, and the right. So when I go, when I go, maybe I start from the center, and I walk a little, if I'm walk, doing a walking presentation, then once I get to the middle, I pick some few individuals, do my normal presentation, pick some indi few individuals, look at them directly in the eye, and uh, pick some people at the back. Then I move a little to the uh, left. So once I'm done, then I now navigate to the right. In doing that, I'm covering the whole auditorium. In the same way, if I'm standing, doing a presentation that is like that require me to stand i will still do same i will look right look left and then then concentrate in the middle of the presentation and or the audience so you need to know and define your audience and know how to get in touch of your audience by looking uh, directly into their eyes sometimes but there are some uh, myths about eye contact some people say when you go to the auditorium and you are afraid, you need to look, uh, just start looking up and not looking like uh, on top of the audience and not looking into their eyes because sometimes their eyes, they are scary. Yes, these are all myths because the reality is that if you don't connect, you will not speak. It's not about public speaking. It's not about standing in front of people to speak, but it's about connection. It's about communication. It's about telling them what you want to tell them. So as a boss, you need to develop that rapport of connecting with your audience. So if you are with me here, my name is Brian Mustafa. I'm live on TikTok. I'm recording this for my YouTube. And also I'm doing live on Facebook and other platforms. And you need to also do that to practice your speaking. You need to do that to practice your speaking. So present like a boss. We talked about number one, speak with confidence. Number two, we talk about tell stories. And number three, we talk about make eye contact. Number four, what are we talking about? Dress for success. You are the boss. You need to represent your organization. You need to dress like a boss. You need to let people know that, yes, you are in charge. You don't just need to put anything on. But it also depends on the type of um, organization that you run. Maybe if it is construction, sometimes the dress code is different. But then if you are speaking to 1,000 people, 100 people, and you want to make an impact, and you want to brand your organization well, you need to dress for success. I used to follow the mantra of people telling me that, hey, Mark Zuckerberg, he wears one T-shirt. 
and he is walking around with that, right? So I used to also say that, oh, dress is not important. I can wear anything and go and present. Little did I know that one day, I went to an organization. I didn't plan to present, but I was just wore, wearing a T-shirt like this, and I got to uh, one presentation, and they asked me to come on stage. And I was like, I was feeling shy because almost all the people were in uh, suits, but I was the only one wearing T-shirts. So your self-confidence will boggle down when you are not even dressed for success. You need to present like that. And that's mindset 10. So sometimes you need to lift up the game and dress for success. Brand yourself. Let people know. I, I always wear shirts that I uh, like. Uh, my shirts. I always print my name on my shirts, my brand names, because I want to dress to represent my brand. I want to brand me and to create opportunities for me. And that is the same thing that you need to do in when you're speaking in public. Dress for success. Dress for success. So number four, five is you need to speak up. You need to speak up. Sometimes you may not know, but you're speaking slowly. Your speaking is down and people can't even understand whatever you are saying. So as a boss or presenting like a boss, whether you're a lady or a uh, guy or whatever it is, Speak up. Let them understand you. Let them know that, yes, you are in charge. And you are making that connection. You want people to know that this is me. I'm the one. And I am in charge of whatever it is. So you need to speak up a little. And there are strategies to do this. So first, when I go to events and I, maybe the energy is low, I have two volunteers or one volunteer, based on the number of people I have, stand at the back at the end at the back of the like audience, so that's the back of the room, the end of the room, and they tell me if so. I'm presenting I'm, and I'm looking at them, and they are telling me to either speak up or speak low. So once I'm speaking up, they're telling me that okay, speak down and speak low, and do a, a B C D. So I actually do that. So they actually tell me to bring it down or bring it up. So that is how. Uh, I do my presentations. So people keep me in check and they tell me whether I'm low or I'm high. They bring me down if I'm high or they tell me to uh, speak up when I'm low. So you can also do that. But all in all, you need to speak up. Speak up of confidence. Number six is you need to practice. Practice. I cannot overemphasize the power of practice. Most of you think that you can just go up on stage and start presenting. No. Yes, some people can do that naturally, but you need to practice. Practice will make you a good speaker. Practice will give you the leverage. Practice will give your mind, your voice, the power to keep speaking. So you need to practice your presentation. And there are different ways that you need to practice. You can practice your presentation. One is you can practice by what? Uh, using the mirror. You can practice using the mirror. You can practice with a phone. So I have a phone, like extra phone. I have like like three or four different phones here I'm using for my life. But I have a phone that I used to practice. So you can use a phone, record delete, record yourself, record using a video delete, keep deleting until you get better. Power of recording is important because it's important for you to practice your presentations. Whether you're speaking to 10 people, 20 people, 100 or 1,000 or 10,000, you need to practice. So that when you go on stage, you can play or replay whatever you practice. If not, you are just going to on stage and you are going to go blank because you've not practiced. You've not taken, uh, you, you don't even take yourself serious. Whether you're doing a TikTok video, YouTube, uh, Instagram Reels, Facebook Lives, you need to practice. You need to practice. You can use the mirror, you can use live audience, you can use uh, maybe a phone to record. You can even use, sing aloud, sing to the practice. So sometimes I sing Hello by Beyonce, I like it, and I follow through. Sometimes I use the lyrics, sometimes I, I'm good, I'm okay, and I speak, I, re uh, I sing aloud. It gives me the leverage to practice. So you can use that. You can also read aloud. So we have a book like this, if you are, and you can just read aloud. Oh, my name is, you walk into a bar, what do you, so you just read aloud. The more you read aloud, the more you have the power to practice. And you know that English is not our mother language. 
you are bound to make mistakes you are bound to do a lot of uh, stuff so the more you practice the more you read aloud the more you read the more you read silently you keep going and you keep practicing you keep doing what you do best so practice and practice and practice so today we're talking about how to present like a boss and uh, what we've covered so far is one speak of confidence to tell stories three make eye contact for dress for success five speak up and this and uh, number six is practice practice and practice so let's go to number seven if you are just joining and this is Ibrahim Mustafa you can join my telegram group and uh, private telegram group that I've put in there so check the description you see the link to the private telegram group and uh, you can join that and uh, you get uh, information you get some of my videos you get like uh, opportunities to practice opportunities to better your life and your career so number seven of present like a boss is body language matters your body language can make a difference no matter who you are no matter what you do your body language can help you a lot in your presentation so learn to use your body language to be able to enhance your delivery maybe your eye contact we talked about that maybe your smile maybe the way you throw your hands the way you walk on stage all this will help you to do more as a speaker or as a boss so no matter who you are no matter what style that you want to present you can make a difference by using the power of your body language to do more so we talked about how to present like a boss the number one we talk about a speak of confidence number two is tell stories number three make eye contact number four dress for success number five speak up number six you need to practice practice and practice and practice and number seven body language matters your body language is key in public speaking so if you want to do well you need to ask you you need to let people appreciate that this is my body language and this is what i'm sticking to so you can make an impact you can create opportunities by using the right body language my name is ibrahim mustafa reach out if you want coaching if you want the um, one-on-one -on -one coaching if you want me to coach your group whether in dubai whether in england whether in whatever whichever country in ghana nigeria I'm ready to train your sales team to present. I'm ready to coach you one-on-one -on -one to speak of power. If you're a CEO too, I would like to coach you because your next presentation should be a killer presentation. Your next presentation should be something that should help you. So reach out to me and, uh, and let's do justice. Reach out to me. You also see my Telegram link. link and you join for me to coach you, specially coach you, because you are the CEO, you are the boss, and you need to speak with power. You need to let people know that you also belong here. You need to let people know that your voice matters, and you can change your organization, you can change the world with the power of your voice. So thank you very much. If you are monitoring live on TikTok, thank you very much. If you are monitoring on YouTube, if you are monitoring on Facebook, on Instagram, my name once again is Ibrahim Mustafa. I'm a public speaking coach. I train ministers, members of parliaments. I train a lot of people to master the power of their voice. So let's do this again. I appreciate Thank you for the time. And let's create more opportunities. No matter what, let's do it.